Hey, welcome to Electrical System Part 2. In Part 1, we covered the main components of how we we're going to get power into the van. Um, and we went through this wiring diagram and showed how we were going to use shore power as well as solar power, how the inverter was involved in the solar charger and the links distributor. In this video, we're going to cover from this distribution panel out. Where is the power going to go to actually get to my lights and appliances and whatnot? I really like this distribution panel because it handles both the AC side of the system as well as the DC side of the system, and it makes for a really nice clean unit. This is a diagram of everything that we're going to be wiring. Anything that is in green is going to be on the AC system, and anything in black is going to be on the DC system. And this is literally everything in my van. The first step was to pre-wire the van. So I ran all the wires up and over one part of the ceiling so I'd know exactly where they were. So for both the passenger and driver's side, there's kind of one column of, of wires on each side. The big key when you are pre-wiring is to label, label, label. Make sure that you label both sides of every single wire. So, um, and I wire, I'm labeled pretty far up the wire as well so that when I went to you know, cut back the insulation and stuff, I didn't accidentally cut off the labeling. Each loop of wire on the ceiling indicates where a light's going to be. Here you can see the wires for both sides of the van. This big control panel on the passenger side of the van worked really nice for being able to hide all the wires. I also pre-wired the cabinet with the distribution panel and this was fantastic because I was able to do this in my air conditioned shop with it up on a workbench instead of you know laying on the ground in the van. So I highly recommend that you pre-wire everything that you can in a more comfortable position. So uh, I've already attached the green um, ground to the back bar, the white neutral to the front bar, and then the black hot wire is going to be attached to the breaker itself. On the DC side, you can see all of the positive red wires there, and the black wires are down and to the left, and this whole green part does pull off where the red wires are attached so that you can more easily get the black wires into their bar. Again, all of the wires are labeled, and these lever nuts are attached to each of the wires and that makes it really easy to assemble when I get it into the van. So in the side of that green cabinet you can now see all the wires coming out from the back of that distribution panel and meeting up with the wires from up above. Okay so we're going to start with the DC side. So on the top of each slide I'm going to have what size wire I'm using and we're just going to go right down the distribution panel. So the number one spot is the max air fan and that's going to get a 15 amp fuse and that's going to be directly wired into the fan. So it just went up that main tower and straight to the fan. So next is the water pump and where I have that little red box indicated that's where the switch is. So there's a simple toggle switch and that's shown in the upper right corner that's just inside the cabinet where the water sits. The fridge has a de designated 12 volt outlet that is right inside the cabinet where the main distribution panel is. There's a 12 volt outlet right above the main distribution panel as well as an AC outlet. There's one 12 volt outlet in the garage and that will primarily be used like for pumping up uh, paddle boards and right now currently we have a Wii Boost plugged into it. In the back we also have three simple garage lights and um, there's just a simple toggle switch for those and that has been really excellent for being able to find things at night. The kitchen lights are on a dimmer switch and there's three lights that shine over the sink and the dimmer switches are really easy to use. There are eight lights that run through the main part of the ceiling and I split it into six front lights and two back lights and that's simply because we often are times are sitting against the back doors for reading at night and those make for a nice little reading light. So the six main lights are the first switch so when you open up the slide door you can easily just reach in and hit that uh, dimmer switch and turn the lights on um, for the first six. If you are a highly skilled electrician you may be really comfortable with wire nuts and you might like those best. Um, however I really really like these lever nuts or lever nuts depending on where you live um, because they really take out a lot of human error. They're nearly possible to screw up. So hopefully wiring a few of these lights will give you a little bit of an idea of just how fast and easy these are and you can actually wire something, try it out, you can take the wire back out, you can use it again. Um, so they really made the process a lot less intimidating for me. And then the back two lights are going to be the other dimmer switch that's easier to reach from the bed. The final 12 volt circuit is going to be for these two, they're a 12 volt and USB combo outlet and there's one on each side of the van. So notice that once we got to the lights and to the small outlets we were down to 
um, 10 amp fuses versus the 15 amp fuses for some of the bigger appliances. So moving on to the AC side, that 30 amp breaker is going to be where the power is coming in for the AC side. So that's going from the inverter straight into um, that circuit breaker. The first 20 amp circuit is going to be for two 20 amp outlets. One of them is going to be in that main cabinet and that is what the induction cooktop is going to be plugged into. And it's a good idea to have that as a dedicated outlet. Now I did run one 20 amp outlet to the back garage simply because I would never be using my induction uh, cooktop and using something out of the lower part of the garage at the same time. The next circuit is a 15 amp circuit and that's going to go up to a 15 amp outlet that's going to be in that main um, power tower and then the wire runs again up and over through that main channel way and then down to a 15 amp outlet on the uh, driver's side of the van as well. The final 20 amp um, circuit is dedicated for the air conditioner. I live in Arizona, so it's very hot here, so this was a high priority. And the air conditioner can really only be used if I'm plugged into shore power, um, but at least we have that option. Well, that pretty much wraps up the electrical system. So I hope that you're enjoying this van build series. We just got back from an awesome trip to Death Valley, put another 1,100 miles on, and everything has been going fantastic with the van so far. So I hope that you enjoy, and happy building.